Hi, let's learn three useful PowerPoint tips you may not know, especially if you are a beginner in PowerPoint. But before that, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com, the creator of Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program, a comprehensive and creative PowerPoint training program for professionals. The first tip is how to write text straight in a rotated shape. Let me show you what the problem is. Let me go to Auto Shapes Gallery. Let us pick up, say, Oval Tool. And then let us draw an ellipse like so. And then let us write some text. This is text. Now for some design reasons, if I have to rotate this shape to an angle like this, you can see that the text rotates along with it. Now, no matter what I do, this text will be in that direction. Now the question is, how do you write your text straight in such a rotated shape? Let me show you. It's fairly simple. Now first let us click on the shape and you can see this rotation handle. It is somewhere on this side. Now let us do the trick. Let us pick up any shape from Auto Shapes. It can be a triangle, rectangle, it doesn't really matter. So let me pick up the triangle shape and then let me place it right in the center. Then hold the shift button down and select the rotated shape at the background. And then go to shape format, merge shapes and say shape union. Now you can see the rotation handle right on top and this is the new shape. What that means is I can write my text and it'll be perfectly straight. Isn't that cool? Let us go to the second tip. The second tip is you can create custom connectors in an auto shape. Now let me tell you the benefit of a connector. Let us say we have a rectangle like this and then we have another rectangle. Let us place this over here. Now, if you want to connect these two rectangles, you just need to go to Auto Shapes Gallery, pick up the line tool, and as you place your cursor next to the shape, you can notice that there are these gray dots, and these are connector points. I can click on one of these, and then take the cursor all the way to the next shape, and as I move to the next shape, you can see that we have these gray dots, which are connectors again. I can just leave my cursor, now I have drawn a line which is connecting these two shapes. You can notice that these two are connected with these green dots here. Now, what is the benefit of this? You can move the shape whichever way you want and the connector line stays with it. The same holds true for this one as well. So whenever you want to create diagrams with connected shapes like flowchart, network diagrams or organizational hierarchy, these connectors can come in quite handy. Now, there is one limitation though. If you want to connect these two shapes at any other point than the ones that are suggested by PowerPoint, you may not be able to do so. Let me show you what I mean by that. Let me click on this line and you can see that we have this connector point. Now, if I want to connect it to this place, I cannot do so. Can you see here? It is not a green dot anymore, which means when I move this, this shape goes away and the connector doesn't come along with it. So how do you add a connector point to a place which is not already available in PowerPoint? It's very simple. Let me move this to one side. Let us say this is the point where I want to add a new connector. I can right click on the shape, go to edit points and here once again I can right click on that particular place and then say add point. Now the moment I did that you can see that we have a new point added to the shape. Now. I can select this line which has already got connected to one end. I can always move it closer to the shape and you can see that we now have a new gray dot which means I can leave my cursor and there is a new connector point there. Now I can move it anywhere I want. You can see that it is connected only at that point and the two shapes are connected exactly where I want them to connect. Now this idea worked in this shape because we could add a new point without distorting the original shape. But what if the shape has curvature? Will it still work? Let us see. Let me delete this. Let me go to Auto Shapes Gallery, pick up the oval tool and draw a circle like so. Now, if I were to connect this, the way I can do that is I can place my cursor next to the shape and you can see my gray dots and I can connect it somewhere over here. Now it is connected. Now let us say I want to have a connector point somewhere here which is not readily available in PowerPoint. Can I add a new point and make the connection? Let me right click, go to edit points 
Let us say I want to place my new point here. Right click and say add point. The moment I did that, you can see that the original shape is distorted. So the idea may not work if the shape has a curvature. Now, how do we overcome this issue? Let me show you the trick. Let us delete this. Let us draw the circle once again. Now, let us say I want to add a new connector point here like the way that we did earlier. For that, all you need to do is to select any shape which has a pointed corner. Let me go to Auto Shapes Gallery, pick up any shape, maybe this shape which is called isosceles triangle because it has a corner. Let us draw the shape like so. It doesn't really have to have any specific dimensions. All we need to do is to ensure that it touches the edge that we want. Now you can remove the outline and you can change the color so you can clearly see this particular shape. Then let us select this shape, hold the shift button down, select the shape in the background, go to merge shapes in shape format and say shape union. Now let me right click, go to edit points and you can see we have these points available for me to connect. Let me select this line and then place it somewhere over here and we have a new connector which means it will be able to move to any place I want without having the shape distorted. Interesting workaround, isn't it? Now talking about edit points, we come to the third and final tip for this video which is you can create new shapes with edit points. Let us go to Auto Shapes Gallery and pick up some shape. Let us say I want to pick up a chevron shape which is available somewhere over here in block arrows and let us draw this shape here. Now if I want to have an arrow of a different shape, all I need to do is to right click and go to edit points. I can delete this point and I can delete this point and I have a nice looking arrow shape here. Now if I want to have this in a curved way, I can right click and say smooth point. Now we have an even more interesting shape. Now let me take some other shape. Let us go to Auto Shapes Gallery and take from basic shapes this one called as diamond and let us draw a shape like so. Now let us try and create the shape of a fish here. Let us right click, go to edit points, let us select this. These two handles that you see here are called as Bezier handles. Now let us select this and move this down. Let us select this and move this up. Now that is the tail of the fish. Now let us give this a smoother face. Let us right click, go to smooth point and let us go here and maybe move this over here. Now that is more the shape of a fish and I can always add maybe uh, an eye here <laughs> and uh, give this a dark fill. Now we have the shape of a fish. This is just for fun. Now all I am saying is you can come up with some creative shapes when you know how to work with edit points and work with the Bezier curve handles. Now to help you understand this subject in depth, I have created three videos earlier. There is this one which is the first in the series called How to use Bezier curve in PowerPoint series part 1. Here I show you how to create some interesting leaves shape and you can add some icons and come up with something really interesting for your visualization. In the second video in this series called How to use Bezier curve in PowerPoint series part 2, you will learn how to create these stickmen in different shapes. And in part 3 of this series, I show you how to create your own interesting graphics using Bezier curve. Here we have created a beautiful custom shaped tree with the edit points option in PowerPoint. So if you apply a bit of creativity, you can do magic in PowerPoint. In the meantime, do you want to learn some simple and creative PowerPoint ideas you can use in your next presentation? Then click on the link here to join our 5-day free email course called 25 Creative PowerPoint Ideas. These are simple, quick and useful PowerPoint ideas I have not shared elsewhere. So go ahead, click on the link, join the course and I will see you inside.